welcome to episode zero of the Pricing WordPress podcast. So this episode is really just to give a bit of a trailer um, so that you know what to expect in the coming weeks, months. Since the idea of this podcast was first mentioned on Twitter, uh, I got a really great response it really seems to resonate with people as a topic and for me personally um, I've been kind of fascinated by the art and science of pricing for a long time and never really felt like I've mastered it so what this podcast aims to do is to I guess scratch my own itch a little bit uh, in terms of getting better at at pricing um, my own products and services and along the way, uh, bringing that knowledge uh, to the WordPress community. I think that pricing is something that isn't talked about a lot, and I'm not really sure why that is. I've got some theories. I think it could be something to do with the fact that as a community, we are, maybe because of the open source model, uh, we're not maybe quite so business-minded as perhaps some other sectors. Um, I also think that potentially people are a little bit uncomfortable about talking about pricing as it's maybe going to give away a competitive edge or potentially make themselves look bad um, in front of potential clients. And again, that's another kind of interesting thing to talk about. Um, I guess if someone's (laughs) going to come out and say, yeah, we, we totally rip people off, uh, then that's maybe not going to play out well for them. But that kind of raises the question about it. Like, what does that mean, ripping somebody off? And there's all these little nuanced conversations we can have around the topic of pricing. For example, what what does it mean to, to have a fair price? People talk about um, the price doesn't seem fair. What does that actually mean? We can talk about pricing models. It's something that I think we'll probably cover in in nearly every episode um, of the show is the the different pricing models that are available. Um, And there's different pricing models for uh, services than there are for products, for example. Um, There's productized services as well. So there's a kind of bit of a blurring of the pricing there. Um, So we can talk about uh, fixed price. We can talk about hourly billing. We can talk about uh, value, value-based value pricing, which I think is just a fascinating topic. Um, we can talk about uh, seat-based pricing, membership-style pricing, um, talk about how people actually come up with the price for their product or service. Um, do they, for example, look at competitors or not? Uh, do they do it on a kind of cost-plus basis? have people experimented with different uh, price points and different pricing models and and how do those how do those play out in the long term because actually pricing isn't isn't something that is purely um, something that affects the start of a prod project or relationship at least I don't think so I think the the price of of your product or service actually sets a tone um, for the for the lifetime of that of that relationship with a with a client or with a customer So there's loads and loads of really, really great stuff uh, to discuss. I've got some amazing guests lined up. The response to my uh, outreach has been absolutely phenomenal so far. Uh, Pretty much everybody I've reached out to has agreed to coming on the show, um, which is amazing. So I think I've got about 12 guests lined up so far. Um, So I've got to start actually recording this thing again and uh, and getting it out to you um i don't want to talk too much about the guests uh yet I'll, I'll kind of release information on that in due course um but i've got people in the uh, premium plugin space i've got a pricing psychologist who's keen to come on the show i've got some very big WordPress agencies that are interested. I've also got some WordPress freelancers, people with uh, specific expertise in the charity sector, for example. Um, so lots, 
lots of different angles covered and I've actually only really scratched the surface when it comes to the the topics and the potential guests so maybe this 10-12 part series is going to turn into something uh, a lot bigger in the end I I hope it does um, but I'm going to keep the kind of scope of it uh, fairly fairly small to begin with I think for my own sanity um, and just see where the journey takes takes us all Uh, so with that being said if this sounds like an interesting show to you please subscribe uh, to the podcast Um, I'll be recording the first episodes in the coming weeks uh, and I'll be putting them out probably on a weekly or fortnightly basis Um, and and we'll go from there if you've got any ideas um, for guests or topics specifically guests I've got a really long topic list but if you, if you know of anybody that has some really interesting approaches or opinions on pricing, uh, then please let me know. Uh, you can get in touch with me on Twitter, uh, at Keith Devon. And I'm really, really excited to get this show started. And I hope you'll enjoy the journey with me. See you soon.